Hello everyone, welcome to the Track Lights video tutorial. This is a freemium add-on. Uh, you can get it for free, but you can support me as well if you wish to. Um, this is this add-on is for Blender Cycles. It is a lighting add-on. It is used to point lamps to certain locations and uh, constrain constrain it using empties and the tractor constraint. You can point it to the 3D cursor's location and of course uh, constrain it to objects um, empties and also meshes so let me just demonstrate the first operator let's add a spot lamp now the UI will expose the lamp panel and the lamp visibility panel if the object selected is a lamp type okay uh, which means it won't show up when you have selected an object that is a mesh type. It will only show itself in the uh, object selected is a lamp type. So, selecting the lamp and then the object you're going to constrain it to. Okay, so the top lid of this crate here, for example, it, uh, the target, cons uh, the constraint target object must be the active one. So, let's select the lamp. Select the top of the crate and then use the track active object. Okay. So it will now point to the to that object wherever I move the lamp. You can always change this. You can always change the object as it is constrained to you see uh, by selecting the lamp again and then selecting another object. So for example this uh crate here, top lid of this crate here, and then use the track active object. The point to 3D cursor, it will use, uh, it will point the lamp to the position of the 3D cursor. Okay, so you can use the, you can toggle the enable cursor depth on, so the 3D cursor will snap to the surface of the, of any object in the 3D viewport. So for example, if I want the lamp to point here, and then just uh, use the pointed to 3D cursor operator. Okay, so it will not be constrained uh, to any object. So if I move this, uh, it will retain its uh, rotation. But you can just move it to another place, for example here. And then let's say I'm gonna point it in this direction. So point to 3D cursor. So it's much uh, faster than actually rotating it towards that location. Okay, so the third one is the make empty and tracked. Uh, these three operators here needs a um, an added lamp beforehand to make it work. Okay, so this fourth one will make the lamp and the empty as well. So let's just demonstrate the third one for now. So make empty and track will will make an empty on the position of the 3d cursor and then track the selected lamps lamp or lamps so which means uh, for all commands for all the three commands here the track active object point to 3d cursor make empty and track it will work on multiple lamps so for example these three lamps here I'm going to point it um, and the position of the 3D cursor, point to 3D cursor, or selecting this top lid of this crate here, um, track active object. So it will work on single um, selection or multiple selections. So make empty and track, it will create an empty on the position of the 3D cursor and track the uh, selected lamp or lamps make empty and track okay so as you can see there's um, it created an empty on the position of the 3D cursor and it, we can start tracking from there there's the reverse axis okay so make empty and track it will actually point the lamp on the uh, reverse axis so I just put it there so maybe there's 
uh, someone can use it that kind of situation so make empty and track okay the make lamp and track uh, this is actually what I use mostly at the start since you can just once it's tracking at a certain location an empty or an another object or a mesh type object you can just actually duplicate this and then change it to another lamp that you want so for the make lamp and track uh, it is also dependent on the it will create the a lamp and an empty on the position on the position of the tree cursor so you can just at the start um position the 3d cursor and then use the command it created an empty and a lamp there so we have the by default we have the lamp uh, the spot lamp here and the empty is the plane axis so once I've used the command it created an empty and the lamp on the position of the 3d cursor and it uh, it made the lamp the active object so as soon as you use the command you can use G to grab and then change the position of the lamp okay so there's the clean target empty it will remove the empty uh, that's being used by the lamp as a constraint target if it is not being used by other objects as a constraint target so for example if I uh, point this lamp in the position of the 3d cursor so it's constrained to this empty here so this empty is, is only being used by this lamp here so as soon as I uh, point this lamp uh, in the 3d cursor it will no longer have a constraint a uh, constraint uh, it will no longer be constrained to this empty here Okay, point 3D cursor, and it actually removed the 3D cursor, uh, the empty from the scene because it's no longer being used by any other object in the scene as a constrained target. So I can also inherit the empty of other lamps, the constrained target of other lamps by using the tracked active object. point 3d cursor you can see that it did it it did not uh, remove the empty because it's being used by this lamp okay so it's uh, pretty useful to um, not having uh, not leaving a bunch of uh, empties behind um, every time you use uh, you change the constraint targets okay so there's the defaults uh, this you this uh, the empty defaults uh, is being used by the make empty and track lamp defaults the empty defaults and the lamp default is being used by the make lamp and track operator you can use the sphere cube arrow and plane axis uh, empty type and so basically this is the starting uh, parameter once you add it in the scene so for the lamps we have the parameters here you can change it to any type of la lamp uh, that you want as soon as it's, as it's uh, added the strength size, spot size, uh, spot blend if it's a spot lamp and the use black body toggle is actually uh, it actually connects um, the black body uh, node so you can use the temperature instead of the color so this is Kelvin, 1500 Kelvin, which is the lowest uh, 
uh, temperature so as you increase it it becomes as the lower you get the more orangey it becomes and the higher you get the bluish it becomes so the limit will be 12,000 okay so I think I have this at 3,000 kelvins okay 2,000 yeah I think I have it at 2,000 kelvin there's the diffuse glossy and the transmission uh, volume scatter ray visibility which works for cycles uh, if, if I disable diffuse it will no longer act on the diffuse um, element of the shader of the object that it's, uh, it's lighting same for glossy so all the important settings are um, exposed in one single UI so you don't have to actually uh, change to the object uh, properties just to deal with the ray visibility then back to the lamp properties to change the lamp and all the size and strength so you can just uh, manage everything in a single UI so the there is no pie menu but uh, if you want you can I can expose one in the future so I know there's a lot of other lighting add-ons out there so uh, some are actually just uh, single clicks and there's um, they get uh, prepared formats or lighting uh, setups but I I made this so it, it's much easier to actually build the light uh, the lamp uh, setup uh, to it's much easier to manually build the lamp set lamp setup from the start And of course, the commands, the track commands, and the point commands doesn't just um, work with lamps. You can also work with other objects as well. Track active object. So it will only use the Z axis to point the um, selected object. So for lamps, uh, since you can't apply the rotation, uh, the Z axis uh, works, of course, well, which is uh, different with uh, the um, mesh types because you can actually apply the rotation. So, this is the Z axis here. So, as soon as I change this uh, rotation and then apply the rotation, this becomes the Z axis. So this will actually point this uh, sharp edge here towards the selected object. Or if, for example, if I use the make empty and track. Oops. Okay. So that's why I had the reverse axis. So uh, just in a situation that uh, you you have to use it using um, mesh lamps. Okay, make empty and track. Okay, that's the reverse axis. So this is a little uh, small gunsin that I built for the Cuber add-on uh, product image, uh, product thumbs for the for its recent updates. So let me just uh, test render this.
Okay. So um, that's it. If you have any other questions, you can ask me in the comments or suggestions. You can uh, also write it in the comments. Okay. So that's it. Thanks for watching.